Hello, uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to fix Warzone crashing straight to desktop with no error code after a set amount of time after booting into the game. Um, I'll show you what it looks like right here. Your game crashing here can be really annoying uh, because it doesn't let you play the game at all. And every time you try to play, it just crashes straight to desktop with no error code, no lag spike. And if you watch your task manager, you'll see there's no spike in VRAM, RAM, CPU, or GPU usage. So it's not a driver error. Um, a lot of people have been asking for this around Reddit, but uh, I'm going to show you how to fix this. After a little while, it should just crash straight to desktop with no audio, no error code, anything. And there's a quick way to fix this. Um, sometimes it'll, it'll even let you get in a little bit, uh, like into the game and such. But after a little, a few seconds, it will crash you to your desktop with no error code. So as you can see here, uh, my game's frozen and it'll crash straight to desktop. So as you can see, there you go, it crashed straight to desktop with nothing, no error code. All you gotta do is hit Windows R, type in MS config, hit OK. It should bring up this little window here. Um, in this window, go to services, check hide all Microsoft services, and then scroll down and look for Razor. So going through here, you should see a lot of applications you have installed. Um, but you'll see Razor and all of their services. Um, if you just disable all of these, and anything that's from Razor Incorporated, you can disable. Um, this will solve your crashing issues. Uh, you won't crash anymore. And most importantly, it'll save a little bit of performance too. The only problem is now none of your Razor software will work. Um, if you try to start it, you'll get a nice error code and it'll say it's unable to connect to the core service. Um, but once you disable these, hit apply, OK. And then it, a little pop-up will ask you if you want to restart. Just click yes. Once you have restarted, open up your Battle.net, launch the game, and it should work perfectly smooth. This has solved the issue for me every single time that I've had it. Um, if it's not Razer that's making your game not launch, um, it could also be it could also be Corsair or any other softwares you have that run in the background. Unfortunately, Call of Duty's anti-cheat is not polished enough, and it sees Razer as a virus. And when it sees Razer, it will instantly close your game with no code error. It won't have any anti-cheat warning or anything. It'll just fully close your game. And this is the quickest and easiest solution to fix that. Of course, if this doesn't fix your issue, make sure you update your drivers. Um, if that doesn't work, you can do a fresh install of drivers. Verify your game files, which I'm sure you've already tried. Um, but if you haven't, that's a really good option to fix any errors that you're having. If you need um, any other options, you can uninstall Windows and reinstall it. Or do a fresh wipe of your drive that your Warzone install is on and then reinstall it. Sometimes that can solve issues, although in my experience, that almost never fixes any real problems, and it only leads to more issues further on when you're reinstalling the softwares that cause the game to crash. Um, obviously, Razer is for your mouse and keyboard software only on a Razer uh, device, or Razer Chroma activated device. So if you have an older mouse that isn't Razer or any other brand of mouse and keyboard, um, this probably won't apply to you. But having the game crash straight to desktop is very annoying, and I know it happens to a lot of people. And I highly, highly recommend that everybody does this for your computer or your Warzone install. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I can help you. Uh, if not, go to the comments, and I can help you out there. Thanks. See you.